everyone, it is James from livingonawoodenboat.com and today we're going to do a little laundry. So we've had our washing machine and dryer for a couple of months now and we've been using them and they seem to work fairly decent and we know the ins and outs and what's good and what's bad so we can do a fair assessment of that now. And also we'll try to hook some videos together. It's been a struggle using your cell phone as your only source for video. Um, anyway, let's get started. So, we'll go down to where we keep our machines. Um, this is the V-berth of our boat. Uh, it's a little messy right now because we use it for storage and then we also use the shower. <clears throat> Lovely picture from Chris Vermeer. So, anyway, our washer and dryer are as it, and if you've seen this before, um, we did a video a long time ago, um, but it was a half an hour long and it was just ridiculous. Uh, so I took it off and now we're going to try to amend that with a smaller one. And this is our uh, forward stateroom's head or bathroom. And um, like I said before, we shower in here. Um, this is our shower curtain. It pulls around there. Um, but it's also a great place because it has this floor. Um, that's basically an open grate floor and then there's a pan underneath of it um, and then that pan has a drain over on the other side there. Uh, pretty typical of what you might see on a sailboat um, or in a smaller head like this uh, where you'd have a V-berth involved. So, here's the machine. Hey, look at that. It's really small actually. Um, the whole thing weighs like 11 pounds. So, we just, when we're done with it, we just put it, put it all back together and um, set it outside so that we can take a shower so let us look at the ins and outs of this little costway washer so what the the washer comprises of a few different components um, you've got the uh, tub for washing um, and inside the tub you've got a uh, lint trap and you also have a fill hose um, and then you've got next to it you've got another tub or drum if you would rather um, for spinning um, and then that comes with this little guy which you uh, I, I guess you would call him a retainer um, you put him on top of the clothes after you've put the clothes in there um, that little spinner he is really fast he goes about 10,000 rpms and he works really good for taking the water out of the clothes um, so I just keep it like this and then up here We've got the um, agitation timer, so that's for the for this side, for the washroom. Um, you've got the selector dial, and um, basically you've got gentle or um, soft, and then normal, and then this side is for the drain. Um, and then here you've got the spinner timer. You've got an inlet here for, for water fill uh, for the spinner. It's really not necessary, but if you really are, you know, anal about making sure that all the soaps rinsed out, you could run that while you're spinning it. Um, and then this is the water fill for um, the agitator or the washing drum, as it were. So this hose has been the source of some contention uh, with regard to this machine as far as how to hook it up. Um, we're pretty fortunate because uh, we live on a boat and boats have smaller fittings um, than uh, your typical household um, fitting so we were able to just slip it up and over however I can tell you that this is a pretty flimsy little guy here um, I think with a little bit of heat he could be manipulated to go over almost any size you just have to be very careful when you do it so for us it's pretty easy um, the company doesn't make an adapter or anything like that for it I would imagine that's kind of a supply and demand type of a thing so anyway um, that's the name of that machine, and uh, like I said, it's a Costway. We got it from Amazon. I think we paid a hundred dollars for the thing. Um, up here, which you will see later in action, this is our dryer. Um, the dryer, literally, the clothes hang from inside of it. This bag um, comes down uh, all the way to the washer, and it fills up with air. It circulates the air inside. There's a uh, like a hair dryer piece back here um, and it uh, it dries the clothes it takes hours it's not really great at it but it's better than nothing um, and basically its controls are you've got a heat selector which is either off or on 
and then you've got a timer. Um, it, it's got all these, you know, uh, what degree of dryness. Let me see if I can try to get in there. Super dry, you know, regular dry. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to try to do is link this video to the other ones. Uh, I'm sorry, that's our uh, bathroom stuff because we shower in here. Um, so that you can get an idea of what it does in action. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, on to the next.